Sex trafficking. Most Americans would ignorantly believe this is simply an international issue. Federal agents busted a juvenile sex ring run out of Fairfax County. And if it occurred, it's in rare circumstances. Unfortunately, they don't realize it's closer to them than they would think. It is one of the fastest growing criminal industries. Prostitution for me started at 14, at the beginning of my teenage years. And before that, I had two daughters. So did I have teenage years? Pretty much my childhood and my teenage years were snatched away from me. Girls get introduced to sex trafficking often because of homelessness, being kicked out of the home or run away from home, and it's just very, it's very common that within a certain amount of time that someone is, has been out on the street, that someone is going to try to buy sex from them. Because, you know, once a youth is out on their own, they have to survive by any means necessary. It comes from pain. It comes from the pain. It comes from the abuse. It comes from the low self-esteem that you feel about yourself, that you're not valuable enough. So you allow people to do things that other people wouldn't allow people to do. I have young ladies that are being pimped out by their parents, and they've never had any joy or anyone to say that I love you or anyone to take care of them or to help them. Prostitution comes with violence. Prostitution comes with all kinds of abuse. To be beaten, kidnapped, stabbed, raped, slapped, pinched, punched on a regular basis. Well, I think violence against women involved in the sex trade um, is greatly under, unreported because women and girls um, if they're involved fear going to the police or calling 911 if something happens because they fear being prosecuted. In a community where there is a lot of street level prostitution, the community gets really upset about it and all they think about is the prostitute, the woman. I think that there needs to be a real shift in the way we think about who law enforcement is going to target and who we're really paying attention to. The name of my foundation is the Dreamcatcher Foundation. Do we actually rescue young ladies out of prostitution? human trafficking and sexual exploitation. Prostitution Alternatives Roundtable is a project of the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless. We started in 2001, and it started as a way to fill the need of advocacy for those who are involved in the sex trade and want alternatives to be able to exit, to be able to get out and move on with their lives. One particular story was a young lady who came to our organization and she had a gun for the first two weeks that she sat in our class in her purse. She felt that she could prostitute anymore, but maybe she could use that gun to go out and get some money for her and her, her daughter, which she needed pampers and she needed milk and she needed a, and, and, and she needed things. She needed bus fare. She wasn't getting them. There wasn't any organizations out there that was helping her. She was having a hard time even getting food stamps because she was undocumented. She came to our organization and she just started listening to what we were talking about. And then she started telling us her needs. What we started doing is meeting her needs, giving her money for food, giving her bus passes, making sure that uh, we had pampers for that baby, making sure that she didn't have to go prostitute for any of the basic needs that she had. The very first participant in WINGS will be graduating in January. and. Um you know, I mean, she's, it's just those basic things, you know, she's got housing and she's been through um, substance abuse treatment and she's, you know, she looks good and she looks happy. I want to empower them to know how beautiful, gorgeous and awesome that they really are, that they're not their bodies, they're not for sale.